the second. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's a second square okay, here that also. That yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I still think okay. we have to do that twice. Oh, okay, I have to see. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay, so listen. If you drive 20 miles north in 15 minutes, what is your velocity in miles per hour? 80 miles an hour. Okay, so 80 miles an hour, almost, but pretty much right, but there's that little trick, of course. So how did you do it, Joseph? Do you want to write or do you want me to write? I think you can write. Okay, go ahead. I did um, 20 miles over 15 minutes. Okay, so Joseph cancels minutes here. Now he's got miles per hour. Then you just do 20 times 60 divided by 15 in your calculator and you got 80. 80, and then the units left are miles per hour. Now, if that is your velocity, is that a complete answer? No. no. What else do we need? North. North is a north the right answer? Yes. Okay. So 80 miles per hour north, that's a good answer for velocity. Thank you. Good job. Uh, number two, who wants to try that with me? All right, Chris. What is the velocity of a, in meters per second of a bird flying two kilometers east in six minutes? 5.6 meters per second. And how did you do it? Can I go up there and write it? Yes. Okay. If you like to write better, that's fine. Just use a different color than what I used before. Okay, so Chris converted from two kilometers to meters using a conversion factor to cancel out kilometers, get meters. There's 1,000 meters for every kilometer. Uh, so he found that two kilometers has 2,000 meters, and that's right. Then he converted his six minutes to seconds. He knows there's 60 seconds and one minute, so he canceled out minutes. He got 360 seconds. So, 2,000 meters divided by 360 seconds is 5.6 meters per second. Looks right to me. And the question asks for velocity. So, do we need any more details about velocity? It is meters per second. Okay. So, we've got 5.6 meters per second, but velocity needs to have a direction. And the thing was going east, so... 5.6 meters per second east. It really helps me if you put a box around your answer because my eyes are old. Um, and then I can find it, especially when there's like work everywhere. If you put the box or you underline the answer, then I find it. So make sure when you've got velocity, you put a direction because velocity is a vector quantity. So east in this case. Um, and I mean, there are other ways to do those conversions that get you to the same answer in the end. Uh, so as long as you got 5.6 meters per second east, if you did a little differently, that is fine. Uh, who would like to try number three? I do that. Okay, Lily. <laughs> okay, good. No volunteers. I'm going to erase a little bit here. I'll try to get the videos up, so if you need them, 
they'll be there. So three says, I'm chasing Matthew on my bike, and we are both headed west. Uh, if he runs at 5.2 miles an hour and I chase him at 6 miles an hour, what is our relative velocity? All right. So picture the situation. He's running fast, but I'm biking faster, so I eventually catch up with him. Uh, so would our relative velocity require you to add or subtract or what? So she subtracted. So I'm not catching up to him at 11 miles an hour, for example, that wouldn't make any sense. If he's moving and I'm moving faster, but we're both going the same direction, then I'm just slowly catching up to him at 0.8 miles per hour west. So our relative velocity, we're going in the same direction. Uh, you could also have said 0.8 miles an hour toward each other. Uh, if you didn't say west and you said toward each other, that would still be fine. Uh, number four says, oh, he'll do number four. All right, Joseph, come on up. Number four says, Matthew stops suddenly. Um, I slam on my brakes. If I stop in three seconds, what is my acceleration in feet per second? And then I give conversion factors. There are 5,280 feet in a mile and 3,600 seconds in an hour. So, Joseph starts with six miles per hour. Oops. It's really much harder to see the moment, I hope. All right, so he cancels out miles and gets feet, 5,280 feet in a mile. going to okay so he's converted up to feet per hour here so you canceled miles with miles so now you've got feet in the numerator mm -hmm. and this hour is really in the denominator so I'm going to make you write it in the denominator because it just makes it easier for people to see. Okay, so miles are canceled. Now we're just at feet per hour. 